All right, we're back. We're on page four, notes 22 of Calc AB. We're talking about density functions and uh, definite integrals and how we can use definite integrals to integrate a density function, find the total amount of something. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, the density of air h meters above the Earth's surface is given by this, like whatever that means. So this is actually rho. It's a Greek letter. Um, it's, not an, it's not a P. Uh, so I don't know. I'll write it up here. It's R H O and it looks like a P for sure. Uh, and like, I don't know, I think most people just actually write a P and then call it row if they're fancy and sometimes just call it P. Um, so row of H is 1.25 E to the negative 0.1200012 H kilograms per meter cubed. So the per meter cubed is a clue that somehow we have to get volume out of our integral, right? We have to, we have to do something where we're ending up with uh, meters cubed. So let's see if we can do this. So that's the density of air, uh, h meters above the Earth's surface is that. Find the mass of a column of air that's 25 kilometers high. So that's a pain in the neck because that's 25 kilometers and this is in meters. So I'm gonna have to convert that to meters. So let's just, that's 25,000 meters. Always got to watch your units with a square base three meters on a side sitting on the surface of the earth. All right, square base. So let's try to draw this. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but like serviceable. So got this, and then like kind of go up. And then uh, I'm going to duplicate this and then just put it at the top. I'm like, this is kind of the really cheating way of getting something that looks kind of using. Something we can kind of use, I guess. Do it. <sighs> so much time has been lost to me trying to get, you know, lines to be lines. All right, so three meters on a side. So this is three meters and three meters. And then this is not drawn to scale, 25,000 meters. Okay, so all that's in meters. So if we had a constant density, I would just find the volume of this and then multiply it by the density and that would work. But we don't have a constant density. It varies as the height increases. Um, so what we're gonna do instead is try to come up with something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw what I call a slab and we'll find the volume of a slab. And then within that slab, we'll find uh, the total amount, right? So we'll multiply the volume by the density and we'll get the kilograms of air, I guess. I don't really know what that means, but We'll get kilograms of air. Um, and then we'll like work out our Riemann sum. So I'm gonna put a uh, this and then this. This is so we can make a slab and this, whatever, and this. Okay, so we get a box. And the box that we've made now is uh I hear you saying like, how, how is he drawing that so well? Yes, I'm, I'm not an artist. Uh, in fact, that's like kind of terrible. There's gotta be a, a better way, let's see. Will this draw me? Ah, ha, ha. what? This is gonna be good. Duplicate up there. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is our slab. This is, this is professional grade. Okay, and I'm not gonna do the back. The back one is like, I'd, I wish I had taken more art class. I wish I knew how to code better or at all. I mean, I don't know, I don't wanna say that I really do. I wish I knew how to draw better and how to code. Those are two things that I wish, if I could go and redo my education, um, I would have taken more coding type stuff, I don't really know, and learned to draw better. But anyway, let's take a look at this slab. So this is what I call a slab. And this slab, let's just say this is delta H, right? Because we're gonna cut up the height. So we'll call it delta H. And this is three by three. So then the volume of a slab is nine delta H. And what are the units on that? Well, this is meters, this is meters, this is meters. It's nine delta H meters cubed. That's good because meters cubed goes along with 
our density function. So the number of kilograms of air that are in this slab, so air in slab, I guess, is going to be 9 delta h rho of, let's say, h sub i, not, not just high, h sub i. All right, now what's h sub i? h sub i is going to be uh, 0 meters plus i times delta h. What's delta h going to be? Delta h is going to be 25,000 divided by n. So we can do that. We could like, you know, do all that work, but we know that what we'll end up doing is, well, I mean, I should probably actually do it. So h sub i is going to be uh, 0 plus i delta h. And delta h is going to be the full 25,000 meters that we have divided by the number that we're going to use. Um, so the key thing is h of 0, h sub 0, I should say, is 0. That's our lower bound. h sub n is going to be uh, n over, this becomes n. n divided by n is 1 and then 25,000. So we're going to go 0 to 25,000. And then the volume of the slab. Well, no, the the uh, just the the integral of this, right? So I mean, it's, it's this times the density. So nine, it becomes rho of h delta h, not delta h, delta h, dh. Whew, brain. This is going to give us our our answer that we're looking for. All right, calculator for sure because not a clue, not a clue. Nor do I even want to begin to try to do this. So I'm going to store uh, p of h, and I'm going to keep saying rho, but that's definitely p, 1.25 e to the negative 0 0.123, 12h. OK, here we go. It's going to be the integral from 0 to 25,000. 9, right? So that's the area of the base times the height is the dh for each slab, and then the density is rho of h, and then dh. So 9 is meters squared. dh is another meter. That's meters cubed. Rho is kilograms per meter cubed. So the final answer here is just going to be kilograms. Um, so let's see what we get. Three decimals. 890. I mean, like, this means nothing to me. 89082.462 kilograms. Oh, there, whatever that means. Um, but there you go. So that's a, this is like sort of a non-typical example, but it's not that non-typical because uh, one year, I think 2018, maybe 2017, on the BC exam, there was a, uh, a column of algae that you had to find the total amount of algae. And it was like literally this problem over again. So you definitely want to like make sure that you understand this, the concept of, cutting a slab out of the thing that you want, right? So your slab is just a box. It's gonna be a rectangular prism for the most part. It could be whatever kind of prism though. Like it doesn't need to be a rectangular prism. It's just a prism. So you find the area of the base. The height is usually the thing that's gonna depend on, on, it's gonna become your delta, your differential. So that's usually where that comes from. And then you just go from there. So uh, I'm gonna stop this year. I'll come back in the next video and do this problem, which is the last, problem in these notes. And for bizarre reasons, it's actually the last video that I have to make for all of the notes for Calc AB. So I'm a little excited about that. So I will see you in the next one.